There are a myriad of theories being put forth by people who have ideas about the changes that are occurring to our Earth, to our societies and to our way of life. There are thousands, and perhaps now even millions of individuals around the world researching and debating the finer points of the many unanswered questions surrounding the 9-11 attacks, and perhaps just as many debating the realities of Planet X. Such people, who know that in some way something is going on, are very much on the right track, because something is most definitely going on. The problems we face and the realities of our world, our history, our future, our education, our media, our governments, our monetary systems and our beautiful planet can sometimes seem overwhelming and Planet X answers all the questions. In fact, right when it was needed in our modern history, Planet X appeared as a perfect and conveniently timed soul to the riddle. But you have to be careful with that, because when trying to get to the bottom of what is happening to this world, it's important to remain objective. Don't go for the easy fix. See the big picture. Something is indeed going on, and it is all around you. All I can ask is that you stop, just for a moment, and look around you. All the world is a stage. Those who control it can make people believe anything they want, and they have unlimited resources and funds with which to do it. Think. Organizations such as FEMA spend less than 6% of their annual budget on domestic security. The rest goes on black budgets. These people talk in billions of dollars a day. And they have technology far more advanced than anything the public has access to. A billion is kind of a hard number for the average person to really get their head around. Most people simply think of it as big. So let me try and put it in some kind of perspective for you. A billion seconds ago, it was 1959. A billion minutes ago, it was the time of Jesus. A billion hours ago, it was the Stone Age. A billion days ago, nothing walked on the earth on two feet. And a billion dollars ago was about 8 hours and 20 minutes ago at the rate that these people spend money. That is the kind of resources they have, and they can sigh off you to death. Now I would like to reiterate that I have great respect for Sitchin's work on Sumerian translations and I personally believe the existence of another body in our solar system to be highly possible. But its arrival, right now, just as we are due to cross the galactic ecliptic, and also in the light of certain other events occurring around the globe, raises serious questions. And it must also be taken into account that there is a massive campaign taking place across the world to distract the population with trivia disinformation and outright propaganda. It's happening every day on televisions worldwide and it's also occurring on the internet. And Planet X is a major order fix for those people who are awake enough to know that something is going on, but just don't quite know what it is. For such people, Planet X solves all the riddles perfectly. And therein lies the problem. It's just too perfect, and it's too convenient. The most important thing to remember when finding such a tidy answer to any problem, especially one as complex as the Planet X debate, is to retain your objectivity and to not lose sight of the bigger picture and what is happening around you. And Planet X is a perfect tool with which to do just that, and to keep anyone who feels they are awakening distracted until mid-2009, and then keep them wondering until 2012. And there are very good reasons why the powers that be would want to keep you distracted until that time. But real truth is uncomfortable. But it's important that such truth be faced, because real truth will set you free. The population of the world is indeed facing a massive threat. It is a threat that has been slowly growing. One that we have been facing for many years but refusing to acknowledge. Now anybody who knows anything at all knows there is a group of very wealthy and very powerful individuals who control quite literally everything. Everybody knows that it is this group who sits at the top that pulls all the strings. Anybody who knows anything at all also knows that the 9-11 attacks were orchestrated events and one of the reasons they were carried out was to kickstart the fake war on terror and ultimately bring about the new world order. As previously stated, there are thousands and possibly even millions of people researching these events online and across the world, 
but the people will not unite to address the root cause of the problem, and the entire research community is divided by sub-issues. Even the 9-11 truth movement is now divided by the plane huggers and the no planers who argue bitterly amongst each other. Now standing back and looking at it objectively, it's very obvious that a good deal of the 9-11 news footage has been tampered with. But divide and conquer is the motto. Maybe they use planes on 9-11 and maybe they use TV fakery and maybe Planet X is a reality and will arrive in 2012 and maybe it will not. But ultimately, right now, it doesn't matter either way. Because right now, there are far more pressing matters that need your urgent attention. Right now. It's imperative that all researchers drop their differences for now in order to stand together and address the root cause of the problems we face. Because it is extremely important that the current situation be taken in hand very quickly. If these issues are not addressed, and addressed very soon, it is unlikely that many people will even be alive in 2012 to worry about whether Planet X is a reality or not. It truly is that serious. Various governments and royal families right across the world work in unison. All of them follow the same agenda, and all are in fact part of the same bloodline. These are the very same people who attend Bilderberg meetings and who meet each July at California's Bohemian Grove to conduct occultist and mock sacrifice rituals. These are not nice people. They are occultists and they control all world media, most governments and virtually the entire global monetary system. And if you think that's some kind of fantasy, then I very much suggest you do some research. These are the same family bloodlines who financed Hitler's rise to power and who profited from both sides of the war and who have been responsible for and profited from all wars since and probably even before the American Revolution. Their main goal is the creation of a master race which is of course themselves and those of their bloodline and to control or eradicate everyone and everything else. This is the plan of the ruling elite. And now that they control most of the world via control of the monetary system, and hence control over the flow of all information and resources, they are turning their attention towards the elimination of their most dangerous and feared enemy of all. And that enemy is the populations of the world. That enemy is you. The most pressing plan of the elite, and a plan that is already well underway, is depopulation on a global scale in every country on earth, and the weapon they intend to use to accomplish this is food because now they control all of that too and by controlling all food supply and production they have also been able to control food standards effectively allowing them to genetically alter foods and introduce many chemicals and toxins into people's diets they now intend to take it even further and to carry out these measures worldwide through the implementation of Codex Alimentarius on December 21st 2009 thereby giving them the ability to condemn select sections of the global population to death through the forced consumption of toxic and nutritionally deficient foods. By Codex's own numbers, they expect around 3 billion people to die in the first three years from preventable diseases and malnutrition alone. The goal in Western countries is the complete elimination of the middle class and all populations move to smart growth cities where children will be cared for by the state. And no, this is not a joke. There is an abundant amount of information on these things available in the public domain for you to research and this film only makes a tiny scratch on the surface of what there actually is to know. There is a great deal of information concerning these facts on my channel playlists and I urge you to watch them because this concerns you. My friends, World War 3 has already started. It's just that the people of the world have not yet realised that World War 3 is the war for the New World Order and it is being waged against the people of the world by the elite through the governments and the media they control. And it's happening right now.